So once you get into Schoology, you might want to know a little bit about how to move around. If you click up here on this mountain, our Page County Schools uh, logo, that will take you back to your homepage. Courses, if I click on this, will show me my courses. It shows the first, I think, 12. And if for some reason you had more than 12, you might have to click My Courses to see them all. This would list every single one. Most of that's for teachers. Most students luckily don't have more than 12. The next tab, also on courses, if you just click on the course, it takes you to the course. The next tab over is groups. Groups will typically be for uh, things like clubs and sports and such where they just want to have a conversation. They're not giving you assignments in groups generally. That's just for conversations. Uh, sharing information. It does give you a tip here that if you want to reorder your groups, you can do that. So we'll move on from there. Uh, the next one is resources. This is a place where you can add files or documents to your Schoology without adding them specifically to a class. So you have a personal resources page. This is also a spot if I go to apps and I click the Google Drive resource app, Mine is already connected, but this is a place where you can connect to your Google Drive. Make sure you connect to your school Google Drive. Do not connect to a different one because it will really make your life difficult. Make sure you connect to your pagecounty.k12.va.us drive. And if you are connected, you should be able to see things from that drive listed here. Last one is grades. Under here, you can see a grade report. You can see a mastery report and you can see attendance. So see if I hit grade report, then I can choose the class. And in that class, I can see my grades. This class, see, this is my fake student. He doesn't have a lot of work done. Um, so it's not very easy to see what he's got done. Okay, I think it might be under here. There it is. I know he's got some stuff in Vaughn Practice Sandbox. So there's some assignments. By the way, I can tell he turned this one in because there's an, a document icon there, but it has not yet been graded. Uh, here I can see that the student did not turn that in yet. So those are helpful. I hope that helps you get your way around and you have a great day.